Hey guys, it's Dr. Berg here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prevent a fatty liver when you try to lose weight on your diet, okay? I'm going to use this little book to show you a reference, a textbook on medical physiology. This is the Bible of medical physiology. This is very interesting. I found this quote here, and uh, let me read this to you. Effect of insulin lack on causing a fatty liver. Strange as it may seem, though insulin lack causes dissolution, which is a breaking down of something, of the fat stores in adipose tissue, it causes a great increase in the amount of stored triglycerides in the liver, leading to a very fatty liver. Wow. What does that mean? That means that when you lower your insulin and you start burning a lot of fat, you're at risk of making your liver fatty because all that fat has to go through the body. But there's two things that I want to talk about. So what happens, you go on an eating plan and you're lowering insulin. Okay, if you watch some of my other videos on insulin, we want to lower that thing down, way down there. So that's avoiding the sugars. We want to avoid um, eating so many meals and grazing and snacking and all that. So it causes this fat cell to dissolve and then the fat goes to your blood and ends up in the liver. Okay? There's two things you're going to do to prevent this from happening. Number one, you have to. There's no way around it. You have to keep the vegetables in your diet high. And that's why I always recommend at least, minimally, every single day, seven cups of vegetables. Because even the Atkins diet, they don't emphasize, it's all this high protein, but then they don't emphasize the vegetable. And some other diets don't even recommend vegetables. They, they keep it low, like ideal protein. Well, what's going to happen you're going to end up with a fatty liver because we need the vegetable to clean that liver to oppose all the fats that, that's coming out of, out of you. So we want vegetable. We don't want corn. We want leafy greens, okay? Not just from a powder, but actual salads and vegetables. So you're going to have to figure that out. Now, you could drink your salad in a cow shake if you want, but we need the vegetable, okay? So that's number one. Number two, Apple cider vinegar. What's an apple cider vinegar? Apple cider vinegar is really, really, really good for the liver and to help dissolve a fatty liver and clean it up. Um, there are other supplements that you can take, like choline, for example, that also are good for a, a fatty liver, and that's a type of B vitamin. And believe it or not, guess what food has the highest choline? Egg yolks. Interesting, right? Lecithin is another thing you consume to dissolve the fatty liver. And guess what uh, have as high lecithin? Egg yolks. So egg yolk is actually a really good thing to consume um, because what will happen is if you do that, your body will then make less cholesterol because there's cholesterol in the egg yolk. So your liver makes about 2,000 milligrams a day. So if you eat a little bit more egg, your body just makes less. So egg yolks are totally okay. So we want vegetable, we want egg yolks, and we definitely want apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons in a glass of water three times a day. Okay? So that's just an important tip as you do your program to prevent a fatty liver. And also, how do you know if you have a fatty liver? Well, if your belly is big, you have a fatty liver. Okay? But if you want to prevent a fatty liver, go ahead and keep the vegetables in it all the time. All right? See you in the next video.